Street for a half I got to Chicago. No, there she is. Up there with Walmart? Hi, I'm Detective Kurt. This is Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Go ahead and have a seat on the left hand side there. I'll be here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, sure. Um, no, did you find anything you need? I got Okay. Give me this second, Tasha. So you got some water. Okay. Okay. I before I start, I'm sure the officer, you don't have any type of weapons on you or anything. Did he look at his purse and everything? Did he put you pretty, pretty good, huh? Yeah. Okay. You can. All right. Did they get an ID from me yet, Tasha? Mm. Does the officer have it? Okay, okay. Give me just, just a second. I'll give you a chance to calm down for a second, and then I, I need to talk to you about what happened tonight, okay? I don't know. Okay, well, I need to know what you know, at least, okay? Would you give me just a second? I'll come in. Okay, you okay? Okay, you got some water, and you don't need anything else right now. Okay. So we have some privacy. You understand you're not under arrest and, and all that, but we need to know what happened. So I don't want to scare you or anything. I mean, you haven't done anything. So, but I do need to know what happened. Okay. I all I have right now, I just got came in from my house. Is your first name? It's Tasha. T A S A. A K T F T A S H A. Middle initial. L. What's your last name? Thomas. T H O M A S. Date of birth is 6 24, 1988. Okay, go ahead. Social. And my address is. Hold on, hold on, it's real sick. Okay, go ahead. My address is 1884 Burroughs, B U. R-R-O-W-E-S, Boulevard, Maryborn, Ohio, 45324. Okay, what, uh, what's 
those pearls run off of her to that. Comes off a werewolf. Okay. Uh, and a phone number? 937-260-5687. So how old were you then? 26. 26. Okay, you work anywhere? Yes. Where do you work at? Access Home Care. A C C E S S. Yes. Are you a home health care worker? Yes. Okay. Do you have any children? Yes. How many you got? Three. What's their names? Roger, of course we are the Anthony. Okay, uh, Roger? Yes. How old is Roger? Six. Okay, and, and, and uh, what was the other one, I'm sorry? The Corsiana. Help me out. L-A hyphen C-O-R-T-E-O-N. Okay, how old is uh, the Corsian? Seven. And I have to apologize, is that a boy or girl? They're both boys. Okay, and did you mention you had two three. or three? Okay, uh, what's the other one? J S N E J A I R hyphen A N T H O M Y. O M Y. And the age of that child? Three. Okay. Okay. Uh, in Fairborn, who do you live with? By yourself, or do you live with your parents? It's or? my house. My mother lives with me. Mom lives with you, or is it your house? My mother lives in my house. Okay. What's your mom's name? Diana. D I A N A. No initial L. Same last name? Yes. Okay. Date of birth is 1968. What's your mom's phone number? 937. Okay. 397. 2533. It hurt me. No, that's okay. I got her address. And Mom wasn't with you tonight. No. You were at Walmart with John, I understand. Yes. Now, I, like I said, I just came from my house. I know his name's John. I don't know his last name, but what can you tell me about him before we start in? So, his first name is John. Yes. Do you know his middle initial? Yes, H. Okay, and what's his last name? Crawford, and he's a third. C-R-A-W-F-O-R-D. Yes. The third. Yes. And is he from Cincinnati, I think? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know his address now? 48. Okay. Ridge, R-I-D-G-E-C, Court. Okay. Cincinnati, Ohio. Is yes. that right? Yes. If I'm saying anything wrong, make sure you correct me. I want to make sure I get all this right. Yes. Do you know the zip code by any chance? No. Okay. No. Do you know a phone number for him? It's in my phone. I have a number of heart rate. Who's got your phone? They took it. One of the detectives there got it? Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. And how old is he? I'm 22. His birthday is 729. 729. 92. Okay. Does he have an Ohio driver's license, you know? No. Yeah, Ohio, okay. Cincinnati. Okay. Is it, is it valid or suspended? Valid. Or, you know, okay. valid. Did he drive a car there tonight? <laughs> no, my truck is there. Your truck? <laughs> yeah, I gave the officer my key. My mom's waiting. Okay, so you know about it out in the parking lot? Yeah, they okay. got my key. What kind of truck you got? It's a, it's a 1999 Chevy Suburban. I suppose you know the plate number. I'm sure they got that. You probably don't know that, do you? No, it just says it. That's fine. Don't worry about it. What color is it? Gold. Okay. okay. When I look at your background, have you ever been arrested for anything? Uh, in the past, uh, um, I got charged with an OVI okay. and went to jail for a bit. Nothing criminal. Nothing criminal. It's all traffic related. Basically, yeah, and then my juvenile, I got arrested for, um, um, oh, 
they did. But they had dropped off. That's been a long time ago. Okay. You're, what, 26 now? So you've had time to learn, haven't you? So, John, what am I going to find out about him? Has he had criminal history? Yeah, in the past he's had criminal history. What kind of stuff is he into? I guess he used to sell drugs or something to this sort. I'm not for sure. We've only been dating for a short period of time. How long? Like four months. Where did you meet him at? We met at a bar. Where at? In Fairmore? No, in New Brighton. At Cricket. I mean, we just got back from Atlanta together, and okay. I've been with him, he's been with me every day. Are you guys living together now, or just see I each mean, other? I mean, we just see each other every day. I drive back and forth, I drive back and forth to my house in Cincinnati. Okay. Let, let's, uh, let's talk about tonight, and we'll, we'll move into another direction if we need to, but I wanted to know a little bit about you before we started, so... Uh, at some point, you end up at Walmart, and were you with John? Yes. Okay, did you guys arrive together in your uh, Suburban? Yes, I, what, I oh. went, I I got off of work. I left his house this morning and went to work. I told him that if his mom wouldn't bring down here, that if he doesn't own a vehicle, that I would come again. His mom dropped him off at the Cincinnati Premium Outlet Mall. And what time was that? I'd be home about six, about six o'clock. Okay. So she dropped him off. You met up with him. He I, got in your I, suburban. Right. He got in the shop. And he, he said, babe. It's better to have a bad day outside. I had a bad day too. My car is stuck on my nerves. He said, I know. He was like, I can hear it in your voice. He was like, well, let's talk about it. So I said, all right, well, don't let me forget. Let me get off the highway. I need to stop and get the kids some grand crackers and s'mores to make s'mores and stuff. Okay, so uh, you guys came directly from we premium outlets? Straight to Walmart. Six seventy five, right to Walmart to get uh, what'd you say, graham crackers? Uh, get stuff to make some more the graham crackers and uh, the, I mean the cart still has the stuff in it, but okay. graham crackers and the marshmallows and the but Hershey bars. What time did you arrive at Walmart? I don't know. The sure. best you can. Give or take about seven about seven fifteen, seven thirty and seven something. Okay. And he had been telling me, like, our conversation was basically about his baby mama, um, and she just was driving him crazy and don't want him to see the kids unless she's with him or whatever. And she kept calling the phone constantly in the car. And I finally said... On his phone. Yeah, and I finally said, answer the phone. I, I she don't even know you're with me. Just answer the phone. I'll be quiet. Do you know the baby mama name? Lisa. Lisa? Yes. And, um, okay, go ahead. I don't know her last name. Let me just tell you. Okay. And, and so she kept calling, and so he answered, and he said, it's that word to the thing. I don't want to argue with you right now. Um, I'm in Dayton, is what he said. He was on the highway with me. And she said, well, I thought you told me you were going to Dayton. He said, well, it doesn't matter where I'm going. I need a break. And he hung up the phone and she kept calling back, calling back, calling back. And we was in Walmart. And she kept calling, calling, calling. And he finally answered it. And um, I walked over to the scrub area to get another pair of scrub pants for work. And he said, babe, I'm going to answer this phone call. No, this is that word that man, babe, I'm about to answer this bitch's phone call. Or she's going to keep calling. I said, I know. Just go answer it. I'll be right here. And Five, maybe ten minutes later, a associate lady comes pushing me out the building 
And that's all I know. Okay, so where were you at uh, when you told him to go answer it? What part of the store were you in? We were right there by the clothes, by right there by the you know, pennies and bras and scrub clothes. Okay, women's clothes. Yeah. And and uh, you say you got a car full of stuff there? A uh, cart. Cart? Oh, okay, well, that's, I didn't uh, get to make it to check out. What's uh, what's in the car? Just quickly. There was two packs of Hershey bars, two pack two packs of uh, marshmallows, um, um, uh, Snoopy smock shirt, a pair of black black scrub pants, baby blue scrub baby blue scrub pants. And two boxes of graham crackers, and I picked up like a couple boxes of crowns and paper because it was on sale when I first came. So the only reason why I grabbed it and I was headed, I was going to go to the, the female feminine area and never made it. And I still don't know what's going on. Okay. So she's, she's calling him and bugging me about the. About about what exactly? So, uh, something to do with the kids, and she still wants to be with him, and she don't want she don't want uh, him to see the kids unless they can be together. She's got kids with him. Or how many? You know, two boys. Okay. One is like four months, and one is like I think he's two or three. Okay. How many times did she call him? And, uh, several. Okay. Several to the point where it agitated me. So he he only answered one of the calls? He or answered, answered Ray all? about, I don't know, maybe about three. Okay. Give or take. So when you told him, baby, go, go answer the call, go deal with this, where did he go? He was down the alley. I didn't see did him. Turns around and walked down the alleyway, like okay. in Walmart, like this wall here, it has like all the scrub uniforms on it, and then like if you just turn around, there's like rows, and they're filled with different panty and bra sections, and he just turns around, and he walked that way, and, and when I turned around, he was gone, and they were pushing me out the store. What, what did, did you hear anything? <laughs> No, I really wasn't paying attention to really hear anything. I was trying to find my spies in pain. So you didn't hear any commotion, is what you're telling me? No, sir. I didn't hear anything. It, was there not shots fired in the store? I didn't hear anything. Nothing? Oh, my okay. kids. I okay. didn't hear anything. Okay. When he got in the car at the premium outlets, what did he have with him? He had a bag a, a grocery bag, I think it was from maybe Audis or somewhere, it was a white bag, and it had his clothes in it, I seen clothes in it, I don't know what else was in it, I seen clothes in it. Had a white bag? Yeah. What, was it paper or what kind of? Plastic, white. White, plastic bag? Uh, are we talking a? Like grocery bag. Like grocery bag? Yeah. And what else do you have? His body. Huh? Just his body. Did he have a coat on? I, like I said, I haven't seen him. No. Okay. Did he have a weapon? No, nothing I know of. Now, now I, want to, I want to be very clear, okay? That man got a weapon at some point, I understand, okay? Mm -hmm. That that man produced that weapon. Mm -hmm. That man had the weapon when you picked him up, he had it in your car or something. Mm -hmm. You understand that that we're investigating a a, a, a serious incident. I do. You lied to me, and you might be on your way to jail. So I'm going to be very I clear about God. this. I swear to God, I swear to God, oh my kids, I have a job and a family on everything I love. As the officer, I did where, where did where did he get this gun? Sir, I don't know. I swear to God, sir, I swear to God, I don't know. On everything I love, you can give me.
give me a lie detector test and everything. I swear to God. So he got in the car. He had a white bag. He never made any noise about doing anything to his ex or anything like no, that. Sir. Was she in the store? No, sir. She was in Cincinnati, to my understanding. Okay. You sure she wasn't in the store? I swear, to my understanding, she was still in Cincinnati. I never even met the girl. I only know her name is Lisa. Okay. And and you're telling me you didn't see his girlfriend in the store? No, sir. And when I when I check and I have a chance to talk to other detectives, they're going to tell me that she's not in the store and you didn't know she was in the store. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, sir. Are they going to tell me that you didn't know he had a firearm? Yes. Is that what they're going to tell me? I wasn't me? with him. Yes, sir. I wasn't with Are they going to tell me that he got in your car and did not have a firearm in his possession? I can't tell you what. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I want to be very clear with you that, that I do. I you're not playing games state. here. Okay, and I, and, and I have a serious incident to investigate. I understand. And, and as I understand that that man had his hand on a gun at some point, I don't know all the details. I'm going to find out. Right. Please. But my first step is to talk to you, and you were with him. You were with him just moments before this happened. You, you need to tell me the truth. I am. I am. I swear this to God. God. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, my dad, brother, is great. I swear to you. I'm cooperating in everything because I don't know. Did he ever make a comment that he was going to go shoot her or anything like that? No. No. Why, why would he have a gun in the store? I don't know. Is he known to carry a gun? Not that, I've never known him. Don't tell me not that you know because that's the first thing that, that I realize somebody's not telling me the truth and they say that kind of stuff. I've never known him to. Did he ever make a comment carry a gun? No. Be truthful with him. I just was, no. I just spent the night at his house with his mom. He's living at his mother's house. At that address, I just give you. Mm -hmm. And even at his mom, they should be at the hospital by now. His mom and his uh, His mom wasn't with him. You were. That's why you're here. Well, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Last night. It, it, okay. I, I, I want to know what you know. And you are very close to this man, and that's why you know what's going on, and, and you need to be truthful with me because this might be your last chance. I'm not going to take another statement to, to, to let you recant it. If you knew he had a gun, okay. even though you maybe were, you know, didn't say anything to him or you did say something to him, hey, it's not a good idea to be carrying that, tell me, okay? Sir, I swear to God, I didn't know. I swear to God, I'm looking dead in your eyes. I didn't know. I swear to God, if I wouldn't know. I have kids at my house. I went and did that. Well, your kids weren't with you, right? I was okay. on my way to the mailman. Were your kids with you? No. You and John went in Walmart. At some point, as I understand it, John produced a gun. You were with him just moments before that. I weren't understand you? that, yes, sir. Okay. Tell me where you got the gun from. Sir, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And, 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 and the truth is, you knew at some point he did carry a gun, isn't it? Isn't no, true? sir. Sir, I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Gosh, I'm having trouble with this. Please give me a lie detector test. Yeah, Anything that, I'm being that, honest. That might come in the future, but I... I Please, I, you do nothing to me. You saw this man every day, you're telling me, right? I've seen him every day since we came back from Georgia. We just got back from Georgia on... On um, Sunday, I dropped him off at his house Sunday. When we came back, I went home. I left my house on Monday morning to go to work. I left my I left my job Monday afternoon. I went home. I checked on my kids. My mom said everything was copacetic. I went to his house, which is where he resides at his mother's house that I know about. Mm -hmm. Spent the night there. We were playing with his son. His son wasn't feeling good. He's four months old. I took him to Myers to get some medicine for his son. Took him back to his house, to his mother, where we were all sitting in the front room. I got up, prayed about 7, 7.30. I went to work. I had to be to work by 9 o'clock. I clocked into my job at 9.30. I left my job. I talked to him. He said that he was at court with his mother and father because they had a custody hearing. He, he was at court with mom and dad? That's what he said. Over Lisa? No. 
he was at court with his mom and dad, I guess because his daddy. This is what he told me. His dad is going through some type of child support. Oh, okay. Had nothing really to do with him. Right. He was just with them. Okay. And he said that his mom said that she would drop him off at the outlet mall. I said, okay, that's fine. But you do understand if I come up there to pick you up, that I'm not driving right back up there tomorrow because I drive a Suburban and it's a lot of gas. Sure. He said, yeah, babe, I'm cool with it. I'll stay down there a couple of days. That's fine. I got family down there anyways. I said, okay, that's cool. And then when he called me, I left my house. I was barbecuing outside on the grill. I asked my mom to finish watching the grill. She was watching the grill. I drove right there. I came right back, stopped at Walmart, was getting some stuff for s'mores, and went on to all this mess. I swear to God, I have too much at stake. I would never, never bring no guns around my kids or anything. Matter of fact, well, I you're not you're not carrying a gun, right? No. But evidently, he is, as I understand it. My my issue with you is that somebody that hangs as closely as you do with John would know if he carried a gun all the time, part of the time, or is known to carry a gun at all. Are you telling me he's never had a gun around you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why did he evidently have one tonight? Sir, I don't know. I don't know. If I would have known, I would have never said, oh, it's my boyfriend still in there. It's what I kept asking everybody. Okay, so... You're in the, uh, the, the, you described as a brawl and panties area. You told him when the phone rang again, hey, go go deal with, you know, baby, go deal with this. And he walked kind of behind of you somewhere. Did Was he going away from the front doors or towards the front doors? We were in the back. Um, the clothes, it would have been away from the front doors. Okay. And uh, did, did, you hear, did you hear anything that sounded like gunfire in there? Uh, no, I was, Are you absolutely sure? Because that would be loud. I was looking for my size. I was looking for my size in mm -hmm. my pants. And you didn't hear anything? No, I don't pay attention to none. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff. When, a lot of times when you're at the store, all types of stuff happen. And there was a. There was a. I don't know her name. There's a white lady with brunette hair. And she had on. A, um, Wait a minute. I want to say she had on a black shirt and khaki pants and a walkie-talkie in her hand. And I kept asking her, and she said, I can't tell you what's going on to go out. We have to evacuate the building. And I said, okay, there was two two Chinese-looking uh, girls outside and kept saying, what did he look like? What did he look like? We seen somebody. What did he look like? And I kept telling you, black shirt, blue jean pants. You know, and she kept saying, oh, oh, hold on. And then all I know is I'm being snatched up by police and everything. I, I don't. Did you tell um, somebody you were with uh, the man inside there, John? Did you tell somebody who you were? No, I said that I was looking for him. And okay, then okay. they grabbed me and said, oh, well, you, you must be a girlfriend. I said, yes, I'm a girlfriend. What's wrong? What's going on? And they said, I just need you to walk down here with the other, the officer that brought me in, he said, I need you to sit in the back of the cruiser. He looked in my purse before he set me in the back of the cruiser, and I sat there, and I waited, and I waited, and now I'm here. Okay. And, well, and now I'm here. Another being, issue that, that concerns me is, I guess people are scattering all over the place. I mean, there, there, was, there was gunfire in there, as I understand, wasn't there? You didn't what, hear anything. What you, you guys are telling me. And you didn't hear anything. I'm no, sorry, I wow. wasn't paying attention. Okay. So I wasn't you, so the only did. person laughing. And in. your statement to me is you 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 spent quite a bit of the last four months with John. Uh, he he got in your car with the no, white. No, we bed. have only we have seen each other every day since Atlanta. We have not seen each well, you've been, other. You've been every, dating for four months, I guess. Is what we've been talking say. for four months. Okay. Talking. As far as seeing each other every day, we have only seen each other every day since Atlanta. Okay. I picked him up, I dropped him off. Mm -hmm. We've seen each other variously in and out through the four months. 
We've been talking on the phone. I just got out of a relationship. Apparently, he just got out of a relationship with her. We didn't want nothing leading up too serious, too fast. And that's just what it is. It's been, I mean, that's what it's been. I mean, I'm not trying to be a, a witch or, or be a smart aleck or anything like that or lie to you. Because Lord knows, I don't want anything to happen to me. I don't want anything to happen to my kids. And a matter of fact, I have a nephew at my house right now through Children's Services and that can't even... The children's services worker told me if there's any type of firearms or anything caught in there that they would take would no, take the baby. I, I never said you handle a firearm. What I'm saying is I I'm having issues. No, no, no. I with it. Let's listen to me. What I'm having issues with is that that you tell me that you didn't know he had a firearm with him. I'm having real issues with that because I'm telling you, anybody around me that carries a gun, I know about it. If I'm carrying a gun, other people know about it. If I got it underneath my shirt, they know I carry. That's something well known about people. So that's the problem I'm having, Tasha. Well, did he go? I don't. Did, did he go to your car and get I, a gun? I don't know. Did Did he mention having a gun in that white bag? No, sir. Did he have a coat on? No, sir. Okay, so it's kind of hot, so he probably didn't have a coat on. Right. Did Did he ever uh, mention I'm gonna shoot that bitch or something like that? The The, the uh, Lisa. No, sir. Your statement to me is, you didn't know he had a gun. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I, oh, you know, it, it's been my experience that, that later on when people that should know that, you know, that sometimes it'll come out that uh, it's something else. But I'll, I'll write it down for you if that's what you're telling me. But you'll take a polygraph or something? Yes. Okay, that might be right now. I don't need to do it right now. I'm just Are you under the influence of anything? No. You've been drinking? No. Drugs? No. See, I know your, I, eye, your eyes are kind of messed up looking, and you seem a little lethargic at times, but I don't know if it's because you're upset or not. I just want to make sure what's going on. I have been on. The only medicine I took today was my medicine early this morning, and it's called Adipex, and I haven't took anything since. You got a prescription for that? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me, uh, let me, uh, I'm going to get a statement form from you, for yes, you, and I want you to kind of document what happened about you picking him up and what time and where, just kind of what we talked about. I'll give you a few pages and I'll leave you for a couple minutes to collect your thoughts. And if your I statement don't. to me, listen to me, if your statement to me is you didn't know he had a gun, and that's the truth, yes, that's what I want you to put down. Yes, but I'm going to be very clear that later on if I find out otherwise, you could have a problem. So tell me now if, if you're not telling me the truth. I'm, not, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Did he go in at Walmart to cause anybody harm? No, I did not know of, sir. I'm telling you the truth. Did he Did he make that kind of comment? No, sir. No, sir. Well, he, your, your statement to me should have been, not that I know of it, should have been, no, we went in to buy s'mores. It shouldn't. So why, why, you know, that that concerns me a little bit, too. Did he know his ex-wife was in the store? Was she in there? I don't know. You sure about that? I yeah. don't know if she okay. was in there. I'm going to find out. I don't know all the details. That's why I'm asking you. That's fine. Make sure you're truthful with me. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me get that statement for me. I'll let you calm down a minute and get started on that. If I have a few more questions, I'm going to come back in, but I'm going to give you a couple minutes alone. You okay, then? Okay. Can, can, you, can you walk into the restroom? I need... Yeah. Yeah, we can go. Just, uh, just leave your purse here. Okay. And nobody will bother here. And
I'm just I'm not saying you have to fill all these out, but I'd like a decent statement if you could do it for me. Uh, it, don't put one on top of the other because it'll go through it. Carbon copy. Carbon copy. So, so start filling that out, name, address, and stuff, and I'll, I'll talk to you in just a second. Go ahead, I'll explain it to you. Hello? Hello? All right, real quick. Everywhere underlined, make sure you fill out okay. This phone number, make sure you sign. Okay. Dave, just like you explained to Detective Kurt, okay? Just what you know, okay? What you remember, exactly like what you told Detective Kurt. If you need extra, just go over here again. Don't write on top of each other. You aren't on the suburban, Tosh. Is that in your name? Hmm? Is the top the suburban? Is it in your name? Hmm. You'll sign a consent to search so we can just look in there, won't you? So yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'll, uh, well, we, we, we want to look in the, in the suburban, and it just makes it a lot easier if you'll agree to it. So you'll find right something ahead, for me. Okay, you I'll want. get that in here in just a second. Go ahead and get her started. I don't have yeah. anything okay, to I'll let you know that. All right, just okay. continue to fill this out, okay? okay? If you need more space, just continue right on here, and just like one of whatever. So just put one, two, three, four, what you need, okay? I'm going to go get that piece of paper for you, okay? You need a snack? Are you good? You want a little munch? You want a cigarette again? All right. When you get done with that, I'll give you a cigarette, okay?
doing this. Let's put your hand in the center point. So basically we're just signing the consensus search. Basically you're giving me and any and all Beaver Creek police officers uh, permission to look through your suburban located at 4480 Pentagon, which is, is Walmart. Right. So go ahead and sign there and just put your address down in the last line. Whatever you got to do with the phone, have nothing on. What about your phone? Will you sign one of those for that too? Yeah. Okay. I'll get you to sign it. Huh? To go through it? To, yeah, to look through yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, what address? You, my address? My your, your home address, address yeah. So go, uh, what I'll do, I'll fill out another form for the phone because they don't give you enough room to write on things, and then I'll just have you sign one for your phone too. What type of phone is it? Uh, iPhone. No, well it's just a uh, water phone. He has my phone. He what color is your 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 GMC? Gold. Pardon me. Gold. Go. It's not green, right? You used to have a green one. Uh. Go. -uh. Blue. Okay. Blue. Blue. Okay. Blue. This one's gold, correct? Yes. Okay. Ninety nine. I got yeah. I just got that truck. I got that truck from um. I got that truck from uh Pulisanda. Okay. Is it registered in your name yet though, or did you just switch plate? It should be registered. I paid him to switch my tag. So did you go BMV yourself and do it though? Uh uh. Okay. Well, we'll get when we get that van then. We'll go from that. That's that's fine. Is it? You think I do something wrong? No, 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 no. No, we just want to make sure, because uh -oh. you're good at authorization. Look, don't we, we need to make sure it's yours. So you yeah. tell us it's yours for sure. Yes, okay. yes. Good enough. The papers okay. are in the glove department. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, just put the bare warm slide. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. See you want. Uh, just write fair warm. How about it right there? I'm going to get her to sign one for the phone. Her phone also. I you have, have that. Right and we'll, I'll need to type them. We'll go ahead and I'll help come back in. And okay. Do that. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and go back to your statement. I'll bother you for a minute. Um, okay.
Tasha, when we looked through the Suburban, there's a bill of sale in there where you said you paid for it. The what? The bill of sale. Did you I'm say? still paying on that Suburban. It's a lease, uh, you know, payment agreement thing. Okay. You know, the stack of papers that they give you and they roll it up. So is that in the car? Yes, sir. So it'll show that it's leased to you yes, in your name. And where's that yes, at in the car? If it's not in my glove box. That's what I'm just getting to. Where's that? If it's not, if it's not in my glove box, then lift up the. If it's set on the driver's seat, then lift up the little middle console. Yeah. Then there's the roll down she, in there. She said to definitely pay for it for a lease with her name on it. If it's not in the glove box, it's in the center console. It's in an envelope, I take it. It's in an envelope. Yes. It's a thick envelope. Thick, thick envelope in one of the two places. All my, everything is in there, everything. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're in good shape on that. Okay, I'll tell her. Okay. Okay, they're going to go ahead and they just want to find that to make sure. We just have to verify it's your, your vehicle for sure. So we're going to go with consent to search at any time you want to tell us to stop looking, just let me know and I'll have them stop, okay? Right. We appreciate your cooperation, I but I, I have to tell you that, okay? I know that's why I told okay. you I don't, whatever okay. you want, you can have. Okay, okay. You need to go to my house if you need to. I don't okay. have anything. If we need to, have. I will let you know. So, okay, I'll leave you for a couple minutes.
I'm thinking about, this is for your phone. Let me get you to sign in. Put your address there for me. Uh, not in here. We're almost done. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll check with the supervisor and, and before I'm done with you, uh, I think your mom or somebody's out there. I'll make sure he's out there and then we'll, we'll have him come in. And, and uh, I believe we're pretty well done with you for now. You are okay to come back in and talk to me or another detective Whatever if you need anything? Okay. okay. Whatever. The, the, the bag you mentioned, he didn't take that in the store with him now. Because I understand he had a long gun with him, uh, a, a rifle, and and you didn't see that in the car at all. No, I wouldn't get. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah, it was like a plastic permission. bag, but it wasn't a big bag. No, it was like you know, like a, a bag like you get from like Save a Lot or Audi Jump. I'm not a plastic bag. I don't. Hmm. I'm being honest. Okay. All right. Well, I, like I said, I don't know all the details. I do, I do understand he had that type of uh, uh, weapon with him, and, and you would have had to see it if he had in your exactly, car. Exactly, yes, sir. So, uh, well, I'll be all the way honest with you. All the way honest, I didn't even do the, 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 the speed limit coming back because I told my kids I would be right back with more. Okay. What's his mom's name? Do you know? Not off the top of my head. I always call her mom because she's got a weird name. You know. You don't know her phone number, huh? In my phone. Her number's in my phone. They should be at the hospital by now, the okay. dad and the mom. Okay, all right. That's fine. Did you call them? Uh, no, they won't. I don't have my phone. They took it. How long did you think they're at the hospital? Um, I talked to them before they took my phone, and the dad said he you was on his way. Okay. You did call them? Yeah, they okay. called me and asked me why they couldn't get a hold of me. Yeah, I thought you meant. Called him and since you guys had me. Just right after it happened, everything happened. Everything oh, happened, okay. they were calling on me. Okay. What's going on? I guess the baby mama called okay. and said, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm the boss as you are. You want the truth? Okay. You can look at the videos, you can look at the cameras. We will. <laughs> Please do. We're still early on this thing, lie. but I, I, I'm just telling you, like I told you early on. Yeah. As I understand it, he produced a long rifle, and I I have a problem thinking that you wouldn't have seen that at some point if it, it would have been in your car, which it, it had to have been if he came with, if he went with you to the store and he got out of your car and walked in the store with you. Exactly. Why did you not see that? Exactly. Exactly. I didn't put. I'm telling you, he's not. And unless it's a fold-up rifle, and you put it in a bag. All right. We're, we're, we're going to check into it, and like I said, we might want to talk a little more later, yes, but I, as, as long as you're telling me what you know and, and what I you're know telling me is the truth. Yes, sir. So, okay. Whatever you want, whatever you need, yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see. Everything I told you I put right there on paper. True. I even went into details for you. Okay. Give me this thing. Let me read this thing. Straight here, please. don't know what she said on the phone, but he told her that he was in Dayton with his family and that she must have said, I thought she was in Xenia because that's what he said, Dayton. It's all the same and hung up on her. She called back to point I told him I just answered the phone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything on there I didn't put that you want me to put? Uh, no, not at this point. I mean, we did a lot of talking, so I'll document that. Has he, has he uh, ever said anything that you would consider he would want to hurt himself or suicidal type talk or anything like that? 
He's not. He knows I don't condone that because that's what happened to my brother. Okay. Okay. Let me let me call my supervisor and see what what they want me to do. And if they're okay, then I'll let your family come back and we'll talk a little bit and I'll let you go home with them. Okay. They don't need to know that in my business. Let my mama know it's better off she is. Well, she's here to support you. I know. Okay. Let she know it's better off with Okay. Want to talk? I'm going to introduce you to Amanda Opeka. Okay. Amanda's with uh, Green County Victim Witness, okay. and she came out for uh, for support. So, okay. hey, yeah. Uh, let me, let, Amanda, go ahead and introduce yourself there. Let me uh, talk to her. Um, I'm Amanda from Victim Witness. So I'm just here, just kind of. We've been through a lot tonight, so I'm just here to sit with you and let the things worse than I do. Okay. Right. Right. Um, so I'm just here to. It sounds like kind of pretty chaotic evening. Beyond chaotic. Yeah. So while well, I finish part of the interview, I'll be sitting here with you and then okay. I'll give you my card if you have questions later on that you follow up or anything like that that you need from me now. They still don't know if he's dead or alive. Don't know anything. Um, they just had to come sit in here with you right now, so I don't I, that I don't know. <sighs> Do you have family that is out here with you that came with you today? I they transferred me in the police car. I don't know who's out there, who ain't out there. I, okay, so, but you did call somebody to come and meet you and your my family. mom's supposed to be. Uh, I called her to come get my truck at Walmart, so I don't you know if she's here or there. Okay. Um, All right. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I saw some people in a car outside initially when I had first left. I don't know if that's that's them or not. White. You know, it's kind of dark. I don't know whether it was a white or it was like a teen color. I wasn't. No, I'm saying the people inside were white? Yes. Mom, sorry, my mom. Yeah. But I, I think it was like a four-door car. A man driving? You know what? I didn't look well enough. I came from kind of behind their car, so I didn't really, didn't really seem to look very easily. Is your mom going to the she she does. Oh, okay. All right. And if you have questions later on, just things that come up, just give me a call. Because this is a lot that's kind of take on. Okay. Um, so on your Suburban, we're going to look through it. And I don't know if they're letting up the police on scene, so we'll you know, give you a call and let you know what's going on, okay? How am I supposed to get to work? I don't know. I do but, don't care. Okay. We're not going to keep any long. We have to, okay? I mean, I'm saying I got a client at 7.30 in the morning. Okay. We're going to try to deal with it tonight. Uh, but, you know, what we're dealing with is pretty serious, so we need to make sure we're doing okay. what we need to do here. And that's part of what we got to do is work through it. So, you know, hopefully we don't need to keep it for any reason. But the... They have a big scene there. I mean, we've got Walmart we're looking into. we got the parking lot. we got your vehicle. We can't do everything this second. So they're going to get to it. And, you know, we'll stay in touch with you and let you know what's going on, okay? Uh, you're, I think your mom's out there. Do you sure you don't want her to come back? Because we need to talk to you. Uh, I don't know if Amanda has told you anything. But we'll, we'll, you want, let's have your mom come back. I don't want her back here. Well, she's here to support you. I don't want her back here. Okay, all right. 
Well, uh, to let you know, uh, you know unfortunately, John has uh, passed away uh, as a result of this. Um, I don't know any other way to tell you. I mean, what what happened there wasn't uh, wasn't a good thing, and and uh, as a result of his actions, he he is gone. Um, you sure you don't want your mom back here?
Show you. Show you the way. Your mom is out here. 